Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Ha! This is a channel where we only talk positivity. So today I'll do a part two of a get to know me. Yeah, it's a Q&A. Most of the questions I answered in part one, I'll leave the link here. So this is a part two of the get to know me and I'll answer what I can, what I cannot, I will pass. So the first question is how many siblings? We are four in, in our family. We are, I have three brothers than me. So I'm the only girl. I'm the second last. I'm the second last child. Yes. So the second question is what course did you do in campus? Which campus were you in? And when did you clear campus? I did economics in campus. I was in Ijaton University in Joro campus and I cleared campus in 2013. It's not very far away, it's not very close. So yeah, that's it, that's it. So I did I did economics in campus basically because I was very good in mathematics. Uh, apparently I was called to do Battle of Science, but I decided to do an interfaculty transfer when I got there because the perception that, that the campus the, the continuing students had of bsc in biochemistry was so negative until i decided no because i did the interfaculty transfer after like one month of going to classes and i realized no this is not this is not this is not it this is not it because i wasn't very comfortable i wasn't very happy doing it considering i really struggled to pass chemistry in high school so i decided Nah, 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 but chemistry is a no. So I decided to take economics and apparently the faculty accepted me. Yeah, that's where, I, that's why I'm saying this is a channel of only positive vibes. Yeah. So the other question is, what do you love about yourself? Huh? I really love my body. I love my body with all my heart, with all my soul. I'm not very big. I'm not very small, but I love my body. Yes. Every part of my body, I love it, yes. So favorite sub subject in school, I said earlier, I did economics because I really love mathematics. I was in love with mathematics. So yes, that's why I'm where I am, yes. So what tribe are you? I said earlier in vlog one that I come from Kakamega County, but apparently I'm a mixture of Luo and Luya. So my mom is a Luya Amaragoli and my dad is half Lu, half Luya. So I'm a mixture of Lu and Luya combined, combined blood. So yes. So cats or dogs? I prefer dogs. I hate cats. I don't know why, but I naturally hate cats since I was young. So yeah, dogs. Funny moment in high school. There was a question I was asked about a funny moment in primary school and I said that primary school was a joke in part one. But high school, there was a bit of maturity. But do I really remember any funny moments? No. Funny moments in high school? Let's pass. Because high school was, I can never rewind or go back to high school in my life. From the waking up at five to the sleeping late to the entry cuts to the midterm cuts to the, I can never rewind. I can never go back to high school. Sorry, I can never. So, ah, the other question is what sports did you play or do you play? I used to play cricket in high school. I joined the high school cricket team and we really went far up to the nationals. So I'm a very good cricket player. Currently, I'm not playing any games apart from going to the gym because there's no time. There's no time. There's no time. Yeah. So uh, what tribe are you? I already answered. I'm a mixture of Luya and Luo. The other question is... A current profession 
I'm currently a banker. Yes, I'm currently a banker. I work in one of the local banks. But there's a but. So let's leave it for as you get to know me, you'll know why there's a but. Yeah, thank you. So the other question is are you married? Yes, I'm married to one man. Yes, I am married. I got married in 2014. So it's six years in marriage. I got married very young. At first I was very afraid at what will people say? What will my parents say? What? Because I cleared high school in 2013 and I decided to, I got married in 2014. And I got married it was not a planned a planned marriage per se if 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 your lady will understand it was not a planned marriage the plans came after we after everything had just happened so it was not a planned marriage the plans came later we all we even did our wedding later so yes six years in marriage I got married at 23 so I consider myself as a as still young in marriage because I sti I'm still getting to know the other party so yes question well answered yeah the other question is do you have kids yes I have kids I have two kids one is five years old, the other one is uh, almost two years in July. Yeah, those, they are all daughters and I'm very proud of them. I'm very, pr I'm a very proud mother. I'm a very blessed mother. I can never complain. I got my first kid at 23 and it was hectic at first, but we got through it and I got a second baby in 2018. So, so far so good and they are really jewels they are really a blessing in, in our lives they are really a blessing very much as in i look at these kids as i live in the morning and as, as i come back in the evening from work and i tell myself that these are the reason these are the reason why i go to work every day so yes i love my babies very much i'll put a photo of them or as the vlog as, as the channel continues as we get to know each other i'll introduce them and they'll be part of this vlog they'll be part of my channel basically because i'll really put out my life on the everyday challenges of a working the challenges faced by a working mother the struggles we go through raising kids kids the struggles in marriage yeah it's not smooth it's not smooth because considering that you get together when there's no kid then the kids come later so there are so many challenges and if subscribe subscribe yeah you'll get to to know more about marriages you'll get to know more about our daily li lives as working mother our daily struggles as working mothers and house girls challenges and there are so many things just be part of my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome. So, the other question is, do you see yourself quitting your profession and becoming a vlogger full-time? That's a very tough question to be answered now because I, I said in my first uh, Q&A that I started my YouTube channel not as a full-time thing per se but it's just a part-time thing and uh, yeah time will tell time will tell because I think I'm comfortable being a banker and at the moment so far so good and I really thank God for the job that I have I really thank God for everything in my life and uh, so far so good so the moment when i have time to upload i will upload i will create content and upload 
but I can't promise that or I can't predict that I'll quit my fr profession for YouTube so YouTube I, I'm just into YouTube for you know I'm passionate about taking this camera and talking I'm passionate about putting my life and my struggles and whatever thing that's happening daily in life out there for someone else to just use it as a benchmark for someone else to know what life is for someone else to understand what really happens in the current world for someone else to know the experiences that I go through so basically in this channel I'll be doing house tours I'll be doing doing I'll be doing house tours I'll be to I'll be doing house tours I'll be doing hauls I'll be doing my day a day in my life I'll be doing my workout routines I'll show you how I'm, I manage to lose my weight and I'll basically I'll do lifestyle content and Nairobi living content and house tours and my content will be general i can't be specific but i won't dwell too much on beauty and beauty products but i'll review what has worked for me and maybe it'll help someone out there i'll review what what i've seen working for someone else and maybe that's useful information for someone out there so basically i won't promise on so many things but i assure you that as time goes the content will be better the content will be good because i said in my appreciation vlog that content improves over time everything improves over time everything has a timeline and everything grows with time so as i said earlier i am very patient and i can be patient under any circumstance so if you're still with me remember to subscribe and let's work together yes thank you very much this is the <laughs> q and a part two so i think with time you'll get to know more about me you'll get to know more about everything that i've stated in in the introduction part in the q and a you'll need you'll get to know i'll do a brother tag i'll do a mother tag i'll do my husband's tag so i'll do my children's tag generally i'm welcoming you into my life and I'm 100% sure that you love the content and yeah, you'll get to appreciate every every challenge and every day living. Yeah, 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 I think you understand. I think you understand. I think you understand. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Remember, this is a channel of only positive vibes. Yeah. So, thank you. See you in my next one.